Hi everybody and welcome back to the tutorial how to convert a Google SketchUp file into a PDF drawing. Uh, the next step what we're going to do is we're going to open up the free downloaded software program called GIMP2 and what GIMP2 is is actually a online Photoshop clone piece of software that allows you to do Photoshop applications in either Windows or I believe on Mac now once GIMP is loaded you're going to open up the file you just created which was the SuperSlow 28 so we're going to find the uh, SuperSlow 28 file that we created earlier and we named it SuperSlow 28 test B and it is a PNG file so now we're going to open up the file and you might get a message in the GIMP saying there's an error but just hit OK that's not a problem and now you will see the drawing actually in the GIMP software and it says it is a super slow 28 PNG and it shows up here the 2725 times 1683 and that is the size of the drawing that we set up in the Google SketchUp file now to make sure this is correct so when we print the PDF file everything is exact the same measurements that we need to be on the drawing I have actually included a four inch scale it's like a little ruler so we can check the measurements using GIMP to make sure the plans will print at the exact size so the key to making this work is we're going to go down here and we're going to change the pixels to inches so now that the measurement here on the GIMP program I can go in and I can verify that this is truly a four inch line and to do that what you're going to do is you're going to zoom in on the ruler and to do that using GIMP uh, most mouses have a roller ball now and what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the control key and roll the ball forward until you've now seen a blown up version of the 4 inch ruler then to make sure that this is the right size you're going to click on tools and then you're going to come down to where it says measure now once you've clicked on the little measuring it gives you a device a measuring tool where you can actually measure lines and distances so what you will do to make sure that this is truly a 4 inch line is you will put the cursors on the zero line here holding the mouse down and you will move it over to make sure that it is a four inch line and as you can see down in the toolbars down here at the bottom this is a four inch line so the drawing is exactly per scale to what it's supposed to be so then what you're going to do is hit the escape key and then you're going to zoom back out Now what you're going to do is you're going to save this file as a PG or a JPEG file, excuse me. So you're going to hit File, Save As. Now in GIMP what you have to do, and this is uh, different in every other program, you have to name the file and you have to tell what kind of file you're going to save it as. So we're going to say we're going to save this as a JPEG. And then I'm going to, as you'll notice here it says super slow 28 test B JPEG and then we're going to hit save and then it's going to ask me in GIMP and it's going to say your image should be exported before you can save it to JPEG and I'm going to hit export and then it's going to give you quality of picture always make sure the quality of the drawing is at a hundred percent and then hit save and that is the the end of part number two of the video of how to create a PDF file using Google SketchUp. In part number three I will show you another free software program, a program that allows you to turn this file now into a PDF file that converts it into a tile drawing so you can print out your own plans and then print out your own kits and cut them. So um, if you like this video, please comment and subscribe to my channel and then stay tuned for video number three in this series of how to convert a Google SketchUp picture into a PDF file.